Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Paul Zawulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. Today is Tuesday, April 19th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Just a reminder that state testing is happening this entire week, and we do not have late start tomorrow. Attention seniors, if you had missed Bencourt as a health teacher freshman year, please stop by Library 3 to pick up your time capsule during Advo this week or during late lunch. The time capsules will be in boxes in the entry hall of Library 3. Are you wondering if you have a library fine or what to do with your AP textbooks? Are you a senior and wondering what to do with your Chromebook? Well, you're in luck because all that information is posted online on the library website. Attention sophomores and juniors. If you are considering an eGUSD satellite course, access the course catalog and join a Google Classroom using the code Q5EEODU. The opening night of Wolfpack Performing Arts production of Cinderella is this Thursday, April 21st. There will also be shows on the 22nd, 23rd, and 29th at 7 p.m. On the 30th, there will be shows at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $10. Scan the QR code shown to purchase tickets. Now let's pass on over to Dylan Josiah for your sports update. What's crack a lack in Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. In school sports news, our men's volleyball team had a tough loss to our rivals Franklin, losing three sets to zero. Our softball team lost 10 to one against Elk Grove, but today they will play Sheldon, so go get them, ladies. Our baseball team also plays today against Sheldon at home. Good luck, boys. Hey, now let's check out our tennis match against Jesuit. In basketball news, the playoffs are now in full effect, and these games are already feeling like the finals. Golden State is beating, uh, is beating the Nuggets right now 2-0, and Jordan Poole is playing like an absolute bad man. For real. The Sixers are beating the Raptors 2-0, and it's looking like the Sixers got this one in the bag. I see a sweep coming. The Jazz and Mavericks are tied up in the series, and it's looking like a close one. Next up is the Bulls-Bucks, with, with the Bucks leading 1-0. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulls rally from behind and win this series. But they got to stop the Greek freak first. The Suns are beating the Pelicans 1-0. And let's be honest, there ain't no way the Suns are going to lose the, to, to the Pelicans. They should just pack it up and go home. The Heat are beating the Hawks 1-0. And this one's interesting because I really have no idea who's going to win. Mm -hmm. The Hawks seem promising, but when, the, when the, uh, the Heat play as a team and fire on all cylinders, they have a great chance. Finally, there's the Grizzlies, the, the Grizzlies and the Timberwolves, with the Timberwolves winning 1-0. I like this matchup a lot, and we're bound to get some great plays in the upcoming games. Very true. Well, Wolf back. thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the Anchors. Thanks, guys. Red Cross Club is in need of hygiene product kits to distribute to homeless seniors, adults, and families who visit our family shelter and Francis House Center. 
Items can be any and all hygiene products, travel sizes, standard sizes, or partial use products, except for toothbrushes, razors, combs, or brushes are accepted. Please drop them off at Miss Fontana's room in HB3. Sears Communion Club is hosting a food drive until May 16th. Drop off any canned or non-perishable food items to the culinary classroom for a chance to earn a CO ticket. Five students who donate the most items will also earn a Dutch Bros drink. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Zbulo. And I'm Gabby Bonblon. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Garlic Day, Wolf Pack.